The speed and power of computers has doubled every year or two since the 1960s and 1970s. Now, the combination of artificial intelligence and this computational power may be ready to overcome some of the greatest technological challenges. However, scientists say that humanity is at a crucial crossroads, and the choice we make in the coming years will shape the fate of our civilization for generations to come. Will humanity ever reach the highest level of technological advancement, allowing us to become an interplanetary species with the ability to colonize entire galaxies? Or will our own technology doom us? Let's stay tuned to find out. In the year 1964, Soviet scientist Nikolai Kardashev presented a revolutionary theory, suggesting that all civilizations, regardless of the race or culture of their inhabitants, need energy to sustain themselves. As societies grow and develop, their energy needs increase exponentially, driven by factors such as population growth, rising living standards and technological advances. To measure the level of energy consumption, Kardashev conceived three types of civilizations, but other scientists later suggested four more types. Each type of civilization is distinguished by its level of energy consumption and the technologies they use. Let's take a look at each of the seven types. Type 0 Civilization A Type 0 civilization uses virtually all of its planet's natural resources for energy, launching itself into space using rockets that run on chemical energy. It is where we are currently. This is because a Type 1 civilization consumes at least 10 to the power of 16 watts of energy, and we currently consume about 10 to the power of 13 watts of energy. This puts us at approximately the 0.73 level on the scale. According to the American theoretical physicist and futurist Michio Kaku, it is estimated that humanity will be able to consume energy on a scale comparable to that of a Type 1 civilization in the next 100 to 300 years. However, to cross that line, we need to go through the Great Filter first, a phenomenon that eliminates civilizations long before they reach that stage. The theory behind the idea that every extraterrestrial civilization ultimately faces some barrier to its own survival was proposed by economist Robin Hansen. That great filter could be anything from nuclear wars, pandemics, artificial intelligence, planet-destroying asteroids, or even climate change. Only if we pass through whatever the great filter is for us can we then move on to the next type of civilization. Type 1 Civilization Type 1 Civilization, also known as Planetary Civilization, represents an evolutionary stage in which we would have full control over the energy resources available on Earth. This means that as humans, we would be able to take full advantage of all the solar radiation that reaches our planet. The Earth absorbs approximately 71% of the solar energy emitted by the Sun. Every hour, about 430 quintillion joules of solar energy hit our planet. The total amount of energy used by all human beings in a year is approximately 410 quintillion joules. This means that if we could capture all that energy at once, we would have enough resources powered by the sun alone. Wind power and hydroelectric power would add even more resources for technology development. When it comes to harnessing the power of a star, nuclear fusion will be the key to a breakthrough in clean, reliable energy. However, current technologies will need to be replaced. Our nuclear power plants currently operate through nuclear fission, with low efficiency in energy conversion, production of radioactive waste and a high risk of accidents. Nuclear fusion, on the other hand, will provide a safe and virtually unlimited source of energy with no radioactive waste. By developing engines powered by nuclear fusion, we will be able to send manned spacecraft to any planet in the solar system. Life on Earth could become more comfortable by avoiding climate change, and in the future, we might be able to build entire cities underwater. Advances in medicine will make it possible to defeat cancer and other incurable diseases, significantly increasing human longevity. However, the future holds even greater promise for the next evolutionary level. A Type II civilization, also known as a star civilization, consumes an impressive amount of energy, reaching 10 to the power of 26 watts. Scientists believe that humanity could pass this limit in about 3,200 years. When we reach this stage, we will be able to tap into the unlimited reserves of energy coming from the sun. There are several ways to do this, the most notable being the hypothetical Dyson Sphere, a colossal megastructure with a surface area millions of times that of Earth, capable of capturing and transmitting all the energy emitted by the star. Alternatively, a star can be surrounded by an array of satellites and space habitats. This method of harnessing energy is sometimes called the Dyson Swarm. The cluster would consist of a large number of individual collectors or solar panels, positioned at different distances and orientations around the star to maximize energy capture. The energy collected by the swarm could be transmitted wirelessly to a central location for storage or use by civilization. 
As humanity enters the era of anti-gravity engines, new opportunities open up for extended space travel and the colonization of the solar system. With advances in medical technology, astronauts will no longer need to worry about the health impacts of long-duration space missions, as tissue regeneration and significantly extended lifespans become a reality. However, as our civilization continues to grow and evolve, it is only a matter of time before the limits of the solar system become restrictive, propelling us to explore further and push the limits of our technology. Type 3 Civilization According to Kardashev's calculations, reaching Type 3, or Galactic Civilization, can take up to 5,800 years. At that level, we will have harnessed the energy of stars across the galaxy and even collected photons from the accretion disks of black holes. With a whopping 10 to the power of 36 watts of energy at our disposal, we potentially have the ability to travel almost instantly across the entire Milky Way using the mysterious phenomenon of wormholes. To further expand our horizons, we will create advanced races of robots and cyborgs and explore new frontiers beyond our imagination. We will likely approach the concept of immortality as human lifespan reaches its full potential. While this level of development may represent the upper limit for any civilization, some scholars have gone beyond Kardashev's theory and proposed models for civilizations of types 4 through 7. Type 4 civilization, a type 4 civilization would achieve the ultimate breakthrough in our understanding of the universe by harnessing its unimaginable energy potential of 10 to the power of 46 watts. Control over the power of supernovae, which occur every 50 years in a galaxy like the Milky Way, would grant them access to immeasurable amounts of energy. Furthermore, by harnessing dark energy, they would unlock the key to exploring the furthest reaches of the cosmos, perhaps even settling into supermassive black holes. However, this is just the beginning of humanity's amazing journey. As future humans delve into the mysteries of physics and energy, they will be able to manipulate entire galaxies, extinguish stars, and form entirely new planetary systems. There are hypotheses that such a civilization will achieve the ultimate feat of immortality by transferring its consciousness into digital domains. With immense power at their disposal, these beings will rewrite the laws of nature as we know them. However, as they push the boundaries of scientific knowledge, they will also discover that the universe is vaster and more complex than they ever imagined. Maybe even discover the existence of a multiverse composed of several universes. Type 5 Civilization If the multiverses prove to be their new reality, the Type 5 Civilization will conquer these worlds, harnessing a virtually inexhaustible source of energy along its journey. And hypothetical white holes, considered the opposite of black holes, could be the key to achieving this feat. Meanwhile, science will continue to explore the higher dimensions, unlocking secrets and possibilities that were previously considered fiction. According to scientific theories, a Type 6 civilization would be multidimensional. If humans entered the fourth dimension, a hypothetical spatial dimension beyond the three dimensions of length, breadth and height, our physical bodies would not be able to exist or function on that plane. Scientists believe that the physical laws and properties of objects would behave differently in the fourth dimension making it incompatible with our three-dimensional bodies. However, for our descendants, who ascended to a Type 6 civilization, this might not be a problem. Theoretically, they could learn to preserve their consciousness as pure energy, which could be transferred from one dimension to another. The only obstacle would be the need for energy resources to carry out this transition. But a Type 6 civilization could potentially draw energy from white holes in multiverses. While purely hypothetical, those inhabiting this new reality would surpass the speed of light, travel through time, and overcome the limitations of cause and effect. After hearing all this, one might think that there are no more levels to advance, but there may be another plateau, the maximum apex of civilization progression. Type 7 Civilization A Type 7 Civilization would consist of the creators of all laws of nature, matter, energy, space, time, and dimensions. We cannot imagine what life would be like in a 7th type civilization, or whether such a civilization could even hypothetically exist. In this unfathomable universe, completely different physical laws would prevail. Even if we had access to them, we would never understand them. In theory, it would take 10 to the power of 37 years to become such a civilization. Another idea is that we will never reach the seventh level, as it is not a community of beings, but existence itself. We wouldn't even notice if such a civilization existed in the first place. Contemplating the possibility of extraterrestrial intelligence is a fascinating subject. However, looking for evidence of advanced civilizations like these is a challenge. Looking for civilizations at the lower end of the Kardashev scale would be a more realistic search. The theory of different types of civilizations provides clues for this search, especially on exoplanets with suitable conditions for life.
According to NASA, there are potentially 300 million of these worlds in our galaxy, although we've only studied about 55 so far. Advanced telescopes such as the James Webb Space Telescope are not only looking for signs of biological life, but also for signs of technological activity. Astronomers believe that, with the modern equipment we have today, we would have already detected signs of a Type 1 civilization if it existed in the regions of space that we have already studied. In that case, extraterrestrials would be traveling through space at speeds that would make their craft noticeable. A Type 2 civilization would also be unlikely to remain completely invisible to us. To get energy, it would need to surround stars with Dyson spheres. If a Dyson sphere were constructed at the same distance from the Sun as the Earth, and were stable, it would occupy a space approximately 600 million times the surface area of our planet. In other words, the interior of the Dyson sphere would be much larger than the Earth's surface area. According with the doctor, Robert L. of Forward, a megastructure with a radius of one astronomical unit would require approximately 10 to the power of 27 kilograms of material, which is roughly equivalent to the mass of Saturn. However, this estimate assumes a solid shell and may not take into account the technological challenges of building such a structure. It would take a huge amount of building materials and energy to make stars dim by surrounding them with Dyson spheres. So far, nothing similar has been detected in the Milky Way. However, there were a few occasions when scientists thought they had found something resembling a Dyson sphere. When the SETI Institute detected a signal coming from the star HD 164595, 92 light years from Earth, astrophysicists speculated that only a Type II civilization could send such a powerful signal, but it turned out to be just a military satellite orbiting Earth. And in 2008, astronomers detected an exoplanet orbiting a superb bright orange dwarf star and dubbed it Fomalhaut b. At first glance, the planet looked like a bright, cold point of light moving rapidly across the sky. However, by 2014, the planet had disappeared, leaving scientists wondering why it disappeared. Some have suggested that the planet's orbit may have become unstable, causing it to drift away from its parent star. Others have proposed that Fomalhaut b migrated to orbit a different, bigger, brighter star in another part of the galaxy. It was only later that researchers discovered that the celestial body was not actually a planet, but rather a huge cloud of frozen debris. This debris is believed to have formed from a massive and violent collision between two icy asteroids an extremely rare phenomenon. While we may never know for sure what happened to Fomalhaut b, it is possible that a Type II civilization was in need of building materials for its next megastructure, such as a Dyson sphere. Given the uncertainty surrounding the disappearance of stars, the question arises of how we would even begin to track the activity of a Type III civilization. Type III civilizations are either very rare or simply do not exist in our local universe. Astronomers have been looking for them using the WISE Infrared Telescope, hoping to detect large amounts of infrared radiation that these highly advanced civilizations would emit. So far, no sign of this activity has been found, but astronomers remain hopeful. It is hypothesized that Type III civilizations may be hiding in large cosmic voids, the origin of which is still not fully understood. One area of particular interest is the Boötes Void, which is almost completely devoid of stars and galaxies and has a diameter of 330 million light-years, representing approximately 0.27% of the diameter of the observable universe. According to scientific speculation, this empty space can be attributed to various activities of an advanced Type III civilization. It is possible that some extraterrestrials have obscured entire galaxies, covering their stars with Dyson spheres or moving them to the desired location. Scientists hope that Earth's technological advances will allow them to test this hypothesis in the near future. Do you believe we will find intelligent life out there? And if we do, should we try to get in touch? Leave your opinion in the comments and stay tuned for the most impressive cosmic discoveries. Thanks for following along.